Yes, in life, majority of us, I don't know where you are right now, but you have quit so many times, and the question is why? Why do people quit? Or why do you quit? Because you have a committee in your head that tells you you can't do it, that tells you this is too hard for you, you have a committee in your head. What meeting have you been having with your committee in your head concerning quitting? People who quit are short-sighted. They look at the immediate instead of looking at the important. They conclude because of the present situation. People have lost destinies for good. A wonderful singer, because of issue, they stop singing. To them, they think they'll come one day. There's no one day. One mischief, that's it, you're gone. Because a quitter agrees with herself or himself that is doing the right thing. Quitters don't want to pay the price now and enjoy later when you stop climbing you start becoming a problem to yourself and to others around you because when you're a climber you just want to climb you're always looking forward but when you settle you start having problems with yourself and people around you quitting. Even in our own houses, there's issue. Instead of finishing the issue, you stand up, you bang the door, you bang the table, you throw the kettle, you do anything. Walking out of a room without a solution, you are a quitter. Switching off a phone when somebody is confronting you, you are a quitter. Crying when somebody is confronting you. You are a quit. Crying. Tell them. Crying. Crying. It's very easy to quit. Whoa, whoa. Anger. Short, they say my husband is short temper. No, her husband is a quitter. He can't go through an argument. He can't go through a discussion to come to bear fruit at the end. Nothing. There are more suspended things in your home than conclusions. Quitting has a high price.